so my last update, I had been working on the, uh, I had just finished and ordered the, the new PCBs, the uh, 2.5 version. Um, those arrived, and I built them up. I built up two of them, and I decided to build them slightly differently. Um, one of the options I wanted to try was to see how, uh, how the PSDR would perform with ST's newer STM32F7 processor. Okay, first up we've got the version that has the F4 processor in it. Um, take note of the speed that the display is scrolling at. Now look at that one. As you can see it's a lot faster. I actually had to slow it down a little bit, but that that means that this processor has time to spare. It has available horsepower that can be used for other things, which I think is going to come in handy. It's got something like two or three times the performance of the old one. It's got some low-pass filtering, a variable digital low-pass filter. It's not enough to clean up the transmit um, to be FCC compliant, so it will still need an external low-pass filter for transmitting. A little bit of a transmit amplifier that should get it up to 100 milliwatts, maybe 250 milliwatts if we're lucky. All right, so one of the changes I was really hoping to make was the addition of support for two meters. And if you watch, if you recall, the previous version stopped at 35 megahertz. This guy does not do that. You'll see as I pass through the FM broadcast band that I hit all these stations. They're actually so wide that the screen can't capture it all. Um, if we adjust the sample rate on the in the firmware, we could make that work. Anyway. And recently, there's been a lot of people on this repeater. Nope. Anyway, it does work. Consider two meters a bonus. Don't count on it to perform great. So, I no longer have a board that has the original mixer design. Um, it had a whole bunch of balance, like the one you see here in the middle of the frame, um, and these cool little DC to 6 gigahertz uh, quad FET mixers. But I didn't really design it right, and they didn't work that well. So I switched to these diode ring mixers that have most of the balance built in. Um, they seem to work quite well. Oh, here's what I had to do to make the F7 work. Check that out. ST is usually really good about making their chips pin and peripheral compatible. So if you want to upgrade a chip, you just put the bigger model right in its place, and it works. Except this time, for some reason, on just this package, when going to, from the S F4 to the F7, they decided to move one pin over by one and shift all of these pins all the way around, all the way down. Let me make sure you can see what a big pain this was. So I had to turn all of those sideways, I had to jump across there, turn each one of those sideways one at a time and make a little ugly bridge right there too. But it works. So basically I'm gonna bake in these changes that I just showed you under the microscope um, and that's gonna be what's on the next design. So hopefully everything will work all right. I'm pretty happy with the progress and I think the end is finally in sight here. Thanks for your continued support and patience and we'll see you next time.